All right, guys. Um, next bit of movie news on the agenda today. Uh, this is an interesting one. When I first heard about this, I had a knee-jerk reaction uh, that um, the journals, the diaries of Alan Rickman are going to be published as a book in about a year and a half from now. Um, that, my knee-jerk reaction was, I don't know, you guys. I, I, I don't know about publishing someone's journal entries or you know diary entries just for the sake of a buck you know um it's this is a hu another human being's private thoughts this is his memoirs these are you know uh, yeah his his private thoughts but as the art this particular article in variety points out let me see if i can find this as we scroll through um uh yeah here we go as report uh, top paragraph right here as reported by the guardian rickman's journals co covered everything from thoughts on acting to insights or friendships and politics the avid theater goer goer also reviewed plays he attended and shared behind the scenes stories from the set of harry potter which uh which he was a part of for about a decade uh, uh, goes on to say the 27 volumes of handwritten diary spanning more than 25 years of Rickman's life and career will be edited down into a single book. The British actor began writing his journals in the early 90s. This is the key part. This is the most important part of the entire article, you guys. Uh, in the early 90s with the intent of publishing them. With the intent of publishing them, when Rickman started this personal project, his career had taken off with roles that included, uh, you know, Valmont in uh, Les Lia Lia's Liaisons, uh, Royal Shakespeare, as well as, you know, playing Hans Gruber in uh, 88's Die Hard. So, like I said, when I initially heard this story, I had a knee-jerk reaction of, just leave it alone, you guys. This is not necessary. These are his private thoughts. But as the article points out, Alan Rickman wrote these journals and diary entries with the express intent of having them published. How we know that information is a little ambiguous. But if that's true, let me let me back up a second. If this is true, I think this is a great thing. I think that's awesome. Um, like I said, right now we have no way to verify the truthfulness of that statement. Which, but it's coming from Variety. This is not like some side gas station, um, third party new movie news website blog, right? This is Variety, a well respected, um, uh, like they do their homework. They're not going to publish rumors. Um, this is this is a real thing. So uh, could they have gotten it wrong? Yeah, there's there's a possibility. Everybody gets news stories wrong from time to time, but chances are very likely uh, Alan Rickman's journals were written with the intent of being published someday. Um, I think this is a really cool idea. Larkin, have you heard of this before? And like, would you read something like this? Actually, I think this is really exciting. I love Alan Rickman. I'm just, I've been a fan of his seeming evilness since Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Um, so, oh, yeah. yeah. He was such a delightfully awful sheriff of Nottingham. Um, and this is one of those places sort of, like you said, I trust variety. And I, I do think that the people who are managing his estate, uh, have their, you know, they, they, I think they have their wits about them. Um, and Rickman, I think if I'm recalling correctly, was sort of known for being a pretty introspective person. I think he had done a lot of writing of notes and whatnot to his, especially his younger castmates, uh, for Harry Potter. I could be totally making this up, but I feel like I've heard this. Um, so it would kind of be, I think, in keeping with what we know about him, that he was someone who was observant and, and felt like he did have a perspective that he wanted to share. So, um, I just, I think that's, I, yes, I will, assuming we find out that they're all on the up and up, um, I'm totally on board. Oh, so, you know, keeping in consideration that Alan Rickman was one of those, um, icons that people just gravitated towards. People just, he's an interesting human being. He's a, he's a, I, I don't know if even more interesting of a, of an actor. I don't know if that's proper to say, but his acting style, his choices, his roles, like, I mean, I'm sorry, but Severus Snape and Hans Gruber are arguably his most popular 
characters that he's ever portrayed. I mean, you just pointed out the Sheriff of Nottingham. That was my first intro- introduction to him. That's the first time I learned about Alan Rickman. And I was just but, captivated by it. But, it's, I mean, and I think his film, you know, uh, roles clearly are sort of of a piece. And he does have that kind of weirdly romantic um, turn in Love Actually. Mm. Um, Mm. But, uh, you know, as a stage actor, he had tremendous range. I mean, his his Hamlet is pretty well respected. I think that was in the 80s. So I, I think that's another thing, too. By the time he became kind of a film person, um, he already he had done the work. Right. Like he, right. he kind of had a perspective going into the whole Hollywood world. And I think that's that's one of the reasons I would be really interested and and some of the stuff that he was saying in the 90s you know to come from that background and really see what you know the movie industry is about i agree i think this is a really interesting uh not just idea but something that has been prepared for um and i'm really looking forward to seeing what was it 28 years of written history condensed into one book in journal format, I think that's a really cool idea, especially with the intent behind being to publish these thoughts. What do you guys think of it? Uh, I, I think this is a fantastic idea. I'm really looking forward to uh, to reading this autobiographical journal. What, whatever, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Jump down in the comment <laughs> section below and let me know what your thoughts about it are. All right, hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. And if you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, click share. Because that is exactly what Weird Al Yankovic would want you to do. Dun, 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 d